All right, let's do a regression here. So what factors actually contribute to winning in the NFL? So we're going to do a quick example, and there's a lot of things you could put in these uh, independent variable categories, but we're going to start with four. So passing yards per attempt, rushing yards per attempt, uh, defensive side passing a lot yards allowed per attempt, and defensive side defensive rushing yards allowed per attempt. For our dependent variable, we're going to be testing scoring margin. So taking the points for a team for the full year, points against what they allowed. So Arizona was negative 66 overall. Once you know how to set this up, you can really get creative. And as you have new ideas, you can test different things against different uh, other dependent variables. But this is just to give you guys a starting point and see and show you how easy it really is. I got this data from Pro Football Reference. If you go under the at the top here, seasons and then team stats and st stats and standings for 2017. Scroll down through a little bit of this stuff and then team offense here. Net yards gained per pass attempt is what I use, which takes passing yards minus sacks because a lot of the sources around the internet don't remove sacks, which should be removed because the, the team was attempting to pass so that the passing should get uh, penalized for that. And then taking the passes attempt plus time sacked to divide that figure. They have an easy ability to get the Excel workbook and then it'll put it in Excel for you. So that's what I did and we're ready to go here. So to do a regression, we're just gonna hit the data tab and then data analysis here in the top right. Um, it's gonna pop up with a box here. We pick up regression, click okay. Okay, w Y range, this is the dependent variable. So we're gonna take margin. We'll grab the header too. And there we go. Uh, X range, I'm gonna take all four of these, what we're measuring. Okay, labels, since we grabbed the, uh, that top part. Constant is zero, we're gonna start with that. And put the output range, we will just put it, um, that's it for now, you can get a lot more complicated and this is where a lot of the math people want to go deep into conf explaining every single one of these. Um, you don't need to yet, and I think that's the essence of, of what my goal of these videos are show you the basic level of this without over intellectualizing a lot of these topics just keep it simple first and then it gives you the option to if you want to go deeper into this stuff you can and then you can learn about how to use residuals but you don't have to and, that, and that, that's that's the key so all right so here are the results and again i'm just going to go straight to the core essence of what you really need without going deep into everything r square here 70.73 what that means is 73 percent of the variation in scoring margin can be described using these factors so that's a pretty good r square one would be perfect the other essential result here is the coefficient so to interpret these coefficients this means if you get one more yard per pass attempt your margin will improve by 57. so the bigger number here the better the more meaningful so you can see here defensive passing yards against negative 95. in this year of 2017 data the most important factor of these four uh, by far was your defensive passing yards against followed by passing yards on offense and then rushing yards quite a bit less and the defensive rushing yards even even less than that i also did 2017 and 2016 combined you can take a take a look at the results here it was 77 for passing yards per attempt, uh, negative 79 for defensive pass. So right about the same there for uh, passing and then your, your ability to stop the pass. And then also right about the same for rushing yards and rushing yards again. So that's, that's evidence that passing yards per attempt and your ability to stop passing yards per attempt, basically evidence that it really truly is a passing league. Uh, but equal, everybody, everybody kind of sees that as a reason to bet on quarterbacks. Not necessarily the case because your defensive ability to stop the pass is equally as important, if not slightly more important. So just something to think about, but also more importantly, just showing you how to how easy it is to run a regression. You could change any of those independent variables. So you could use total yards per game. You could do penalties margin. You could do turnover margin. You could do uh, more advanced stats as, as, as more and more data becomes available and you can test it against scoring margin. You could test it against other things that you want to, but just showing how easy it truly is in Excel, very free to do some of these data tests on your own.